Hey everybody, Laid Back Retro Gamer back again. Um, you're probably going to be wondering, you know, why is he making so many videos? I don't know, I guess I got the YouTube bug or something. Um, so I know I haven't really made very many videos in the past, like, two weeks or so. So I guess I'm, uh, you know, making up for some lost time. Um, <clears throat> the video you're watching right now is going to be my uh, entire Xbox 360 collection to date. Um, there's close to 80 titles. There's between about 75 to 80 titles that I currently own right now. Um, it might be, you know, two parts or more. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to try to speed it up as quick as possible. So let me just grab the first stack here. Okay, the first game is Crackdown, made by Microsoft Game Studios. Pretty good. Um, a lot of people really, you know, say great things about it. I haven't really given it uh, too much time. Um, you know, the first couple levels I've gone through, I got a few achievements, but here's uh, Condemned Criminal Origins. I have the second one for the PS3, which is, I think, in the previous video. Good game. I actually like the first Condemned better than the second. Here's these uh, Burger King games. This one is Big Bumpin'. And it's for Xbox 360 and or Xbox. But I keep these with my 360 because that's what I play them on. That's alright. Uh, this is Gun. Made by Activision. I think I also have this uh, on PS2. Um, it's a, it's an alright game. It's made by Neversoft and Activision, the same people that make the Tony Hawk series. That's why I bought it. It's like a western shooter. Great game. Um, Tetris Revolution by THQ. Absolutely love this. Big fan of puzzle games. Especially Tetris. This is, uh, Virtua Tennis 3 by Sega. I remember I used to play, uh, I think, I think it was the second Virtua Tennis in the arcade. And then when I got a 360, I figured, let me just pick that up. Here's a Bomberman X Zero by Konami. This game is abomination. Total abomination. I paid like $7 for it, and it was garbage. Uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent by Ubisoft. Pretty good. The multiplayer on this, there's still some people on there, and it's a few years old. This is the uh, Perfect Dark Limited Collector's Edition. And the metal tin with the see-through cover. Got this for 10 bucks. Actually used, but it was complete. Good game. I like the Nintendo 64 Perfect Dark a whole lot. Alright, next up. I have about like five piles of games sitting here on my bed. So, um, Project Gotham Racing 3. Pretty good racing game. Uh, this is made by Bizarre Creations and Microsoft Game Studios. Put in some hours on that. This is a game that uh, my nephew likes a lot. Thrill Bill Off the Rails by LucasArts. You know, the same people that did Star Wars, of course. George Lucas. It's like a theme park game and like, you know, like a Sim City kind of thing but with theme parks. This is uh, Dark Messiah Might and Magic Elements by Ubisoft. Good game. Like a, you know, first person, um, Going around in the dungeons kind of a thing. Uh, here's the Platinum Hits version of the first Saints Row. I got this for $5 used. That's pretty good. And it's in the, the gray or whatever case for the Platinum Hits. This is a game I really like. It's more more towards really for adults. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry Box Office Boss by Funster Creations. And I heard that this is getting hard to find. There's only like a limited run of it. I have a lot of the uh, Leisure Suit Larry games on uh, PC for DOS. This game only cost me $2.50. Two Worlds by South Peak Games. Have not played it yet. It does look pretty good though. Definitely worth the money. Next up is Bioshock. I have the slip cover on that. The cardboard slip cover. Great game. The second one. Very much looking forward to picking up eventually. Not sure if it's out just yet. I don't think so. This is a game I love that's totally underrated. Earth Defense Force 2017 by D3 Publishing. It reminds me much, a lot more of a regular playing Xbox game because of the graphics and stuff. But really fun. I think there's over like 100 levels in that. 
Yeah, excuse me, guys. I'm, I'm really sweating pretty bad here. It's very hot in my room. Here's a DreamWorks B movie, The Game, by Activision. Very good title. I like, you know, the elements like that you fly around and there's all different missions. And it uh, reminds me a lot of, like, Mr. Mosquito for PS2. Next up is the Platinum Hits version, Lost Planets Extreme Condition. This is the Colonies Edition. And this actually works with your PC, it says right on the case. I never tried it that way, though. Next up is Stoked. It says, in association with Absinthe Films Full Spectrum Snowboarding by Destineer Games. A lot of people say this is better than, uh, I think it's Sean White snowboarding. Pretty sure. Sean, I was going to say Sean Palmer, but no. So that's, that's those. Let me just grab another quick stack here. Alright. This was one I just recently picked up for about $9. Stuntman Ignition. I was going to get it for PS3 when it came out, as I think it was a launch title. But... A little bit late on it. Here's a Quake 4 by ID Publishing. And this one I actually pre-ordered. And it comes with a Quake 4 bonus disc. From GameStop. And it's got a fold-out poster in there too. I really like this. The uh, the other Quake game. Um, I think it was Quake something enemy, enemy territory or something like that. I do want to pick that one up. Here's uh, Kango, Legend of the Nine, by Majesco Entertainment. Good game, samurai game. Kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Bushido Blade for PS1. This game was actually bought by my brother, and he's not really a gamer at all, so he gave it to me, uh, Madden 2007. I got a couple achievements from it, but I haven't really been heavily playing it. This game I totally bought on a whim, and it's really not good at all. Dead or Alive Extreme 2 by uh, Tecmo. You know, it's got like some uh, scantily clad uh, chicks in there. Not not so great. Here's Dead Rising by Capcom. It's one of my favorite Xbox 360 games. Same thing as my nephew. Cannot wait for part two. You guys know that uh, it's an exceptional title. I don't even really need to speak on it. Here's um, Prey by 3D Realms and 2K Games. Great game. Bought that for 5 bucks too when I first got my 360. Uh, here's another title by Sierra called Aragon. It was based on the movie. I don't really like it that much. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, Lord of the Rings game. I'm not too, you know, heavily into that whole Lord of the Rings series. Um, a couple more and then I gotta end this one. Here's another Burger King game, Pocket by Gracer, by Blitz Games. That's about the best one out of the three for the Burger King games. Here's uh, Rockstar Table Tennis. That's alright. I was really into the uh, Balls of Fury at the time, so I picked that up. I actually have Balls of Fury from Wii, which is garbage. Here's uh, the Platinum Family Hits version of DreamWorks Shrek the Third. I got that for the kids, for my niece and nephew. They like it. And then Fracture by LucasArts. I picked this up in the uh, that $10 sale that Best Buy was having a few months ago. That's alright. I like, uh, you know, Haze and games like that a little bit better. But overall, it's alright for 10 bucks. Here's uh, The Club, made by Sega. This came with a uh, 48 hour free trial for Xbox Live. That's what I originally first did when... Um, I tried at Xbox Live, then I bought the year subscription. Here's Time Shift by Sierra Games. Good game. I like how you can, like, speed up and slow down time and, you know, do, like, Max Payne kind of stuff. And then finally for this video, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie by Ubisoft. Another good title. Uh, we also have that for the uh, Nintendo DS. So that's going to be it for part one. Uh... You know, stick around for part two. I should probably be able to uh, burn through the rest of the games. Alright guys, thanks.